All right, let's start this off. Hey, right, bro. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another motherfucking episode. We are the motherfucking Bar, Bar Talk, Talk Podcast, yes. and welcome back to another episode. Yes, sir. So what's up, guys? How are we doing? Good? Yeah, just chilling, working, going to the gym. You know, we hitting big PRs this week. No cap, no cap. I'm um, cutting. Brian's cutting. bulking. Bulking too, brother. You're bulking too? Yeah. Damn. For another month. I'm the only one. It's yes, bulking sir. season, baby. But guys, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about hardcore drug confessions. Head ass. Oh, nah. Shit. We're basically going to be talking about... You know, when we were in high school, they yeah. don't think we crackheads or something. Where we would hide our drugs, <laughs> where to hide your drugs, <laughs> and, and like and like our our our, getting our, our getting caught, uh, first time experience, stuff like that. Yeah. So, for this topic, we're gonna just stick to the green stuff, okay? Nothing else, just the green stuff. So everything we talk about Has is strictly marijuana related. related, okay? Yeah. So, guys, do you guys remember the first time you guys ever, ever saw weed? Like, you guys remember? The first time you saw it, Eighth maybe grade. not smoked it, but saw it. I think it was because of him. My first time, I th- I saw it like eighth grade, seventh grade. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you I remember like how was it like where you were at and stuff? Uh, it was at school. There was some dudes dealing in uh, at school, and they were selling and shit. And uh, I was like, "Yo, what's that?" They're like, "Oh, you never had any of this." I'm like, "Yeah, what is it?" He's like, "Oh, it's it's some shit that makes you feel good." Oh, really? I'm like, oh, for shit, real, for dude. real? And at the time, I was an athlete, so I was like, shit, I need something that makes me feel real good. The fuck? And so I bought, I forgot how much it was. It was not a lot, but, I mean, I paid like 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was a little baggy. Yeah, it used to come in the small bags. Yeah. It was it like one G. It was shit, yeah. 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 It was like a G, and then... um I remember I got home, I'm like, damn, yo, I didn't even ask him how to fucking, how I smoked this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there at home on Google, like, what the fuck is, like, what do I do with this? Uh, how do I roll it? And, I mean, I, I never knew how to roll it in Rillos. Uh, I could only use a uh, paper. And joints? Yeah. Dan, so, so your first time <clears throat> seeing weed was eighth grade. Yeah. What about you? I think it was around the same time, but, because I saw his weed, though. Oh, his like, weed? It, well, it was, I think it was seventh grade, because eighth grade, that's when I started <clears throat> selling the yeah. hookah pins. We're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're continuing. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I was So like, you went in his room, I used to go had, like, a little box? I used to go through his shit, because he, sometimes <laughs> he'd have toys that I wanted to play with, and he'd hide them in his room, because he didn't want me to play with them, but I'd go through his shit, and I was like, <laughs> no, I found a, little, this guy. found a little bag, he has yeah. like, <gasps> I was like, dude, I like, yeah, me and my cousins used to live together, because we had a big house. Yeah. And like, oh, I love. I went to my other little cousin. I was like, dude, what is this? What is this? And he's like, dude. He's like, it smells strong. He's like, <laughs> it smells like a skunk. Like, yeah, like skunk. And I was yeah. like, I was like, dude. I was like, dude. I was like, I don't. I don't know what it. I put it back, bro. <laughs> you put and it I back. Got scared. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that <laughs> shit is. Bro. And then in seventh grade. Yeah. And then yeah. I think I saw people smoking like in eighth grade, and then I found out what it was. Yeah. What about you, bro? Bro. Believe it or not, the first time I ever saw weed was like my freshman year in school, in high school. I think I was in, there was a class called Team Sports, I think. Yeah. That's what it's called, right? Where mm-hmm. you like go in the gym and like do nothing, nothing. basically, just play <laughs> soccer. Just chill. I remember that there was some guy, I'm not going to say his name, but there was some guy there that he was like a senior. It was like a super senior, I think. He looked grown. He was a grown ass guy. Yeah. And um, he was like, yo, like, you ever, you ever smoke I was like, smoke? I was like, nah. And then he like he pulled out the like like the little pouch. You know, like yeah. you were saying, like the little no, Yeah, like, it was like a G, bro. He was like, Yeah, bro, look at this. I smelt it, like, damn, it smells like skunk. That yeah. shit smells nasty. <laughs> but then I was too scared. I was like, nah, bro, I'm good, thank you. So then boom. That's the first time I ever my first time experiencing that. Now let's talk about the first time we smoked. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna start this off. I think I've told this already, but for the, not now that we're actually on YouTube, YouTube. I think my first time smoking, uh, I was with one of my boys, uh, and then he was like, yo, uh, let's stay after school, and let's go smoke. And I was already, I was like, man, bro, I really want to smoke. Like, like you were, I want to get this over with, right? Because yeah, everyone talks about, oh, smoking, yeah, sure. you know, the feeling of, like, I'm like, fuck, let me just try and let's get this over with, right? Tenía las ganas, huh? Yeah, yeah. tenía las ganas de hacerlo, right? <laughs> <laughs> smoke, smoke. <laughs> so, but my friend, he was like, I don't have anything, but... I can make a pipe out of Starburst. Oh, so, yeah, hello. the story, remember? <laughs> so, you go to the vending machine, 
And, you know, he buys the colorful Starburst, like, you know, it was, I think it was red, yellow, orange, pink, you know, all the colors, right? Yeah. Those colors. And, um, you know, I eat some and then, and then he starts like smushing them together, like in the squares and starts making a pipe. He makes a hole in the front, makes a hole on the side. He pokes it with like a, uh, like a needle he had. Yeah. Like, where the fuck you get a needle? But he had one, right? <laughs> I did from the side, made a hole on top, put the weed on top and we started hitting it like a, like a, like a pipa, right? And bro, I hit that shit. I was like, Jesus, dude, that first time, <laughs> you know, so the high school that I went to, um, if you go to the back, there was like a lake. You yeah. walk through there and then you get to the park. Remember, there's like a big ass hill to get to the park. It's like, to, like where the center of field is, right? So I remember when I hit it, we were at the bottom. So, bro, that walk up there felt like an eternity. It felt like we were going in circles. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was so high. I was like, dude, I hit that once. He was like, hold it in. I was like, where do I let go? And then, <laughs> and then he was like, nah. I was like, that. When I was exhaling, bro, it was over after that. My boy was like. I was like, so <laughs> I was like, Can damn. You and, you know, he smoked. And then I was so high, bro. I started eating the Starburst. <laughs> then we smoked up. I, I, like, I, like, cleaned it off. And I ate it, bro. For some reason, bro, I felt higher after I ate it. I, don't, I, I know it wasn't infused, but I don't know. And then we just laid on the on the soccer field. For like an hour. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I was so high. We laid there and then we just started playing soccer. But like after like an hour later though, it was it was it was a nice experience though. It wasn't like a like a crazy trip where like you know some people when you when you smoke, you like start to get paranoid. paranoid. You're like, Oh damn, what am I doing? What am I doing? That started getting later when I started buying stronger weed. I started getting paranoid, like so I had stopped for a while, but then I continued again. You know, and I still continue now, but you know, <laughs> That was my first time. What about you guys? Crazy. My first time, yeah, was in freshman year, high school, and I smoked out of an apple. How was that like? I mean, same thing. He basically cut it out to where you can put it at the top. Yeah, he made he, a hole? Yeah, it made a hole on the side, and then, yeah, we smoked out of the apple. So, like, when you're hitting it, do you have to, like, make, like, a hole through it? Like, through uh, it that way? Yeah, like, an L? The way he, I don't remember exactly the way he did it, but like, I think he did it through the, the bottom part of the apple where he just cut out from the bottom and then, um, he, he dug a hole and then he made a hole on the other side and then what's it called? Uh, cause we would we, basically, cause the, you know how the apple's weirdly shaped yeah, and like it's thinner at the bottom. So like he had the hole a little lower, like towards the middle of the apple and that's where we would inhale from. And the weed is just sitting up top. Mm. Cause I know How'd you feel afterwards? Was I, it like, damn? That's yeah, over? It, it, it was some pretty chill shit. Damn. I can only imagine. Because we, we, it was, oh, and it was a football night. Was it a football night? Yeah. So oh, so we, was it Friday? Yeah, Friday night. Jeez. Man, psh, that's what, uh, bro, that was a dog. It's a roof, roof. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn. Por aquí, una por allá. Hell yeah. No cap. What about you, son? I think the first. So I, I used to smoke cigarettes first. <laughs> I, I thought I was yeah. cool. And then I think the first time I smoked was with you, bro. With me? Where? Yeah, the first memories I have. I I only have two memories that I remember when I first started smoking. It's the f time we smoked the Starburst one when you made it. Oh, yeah. Because you were like, yo, let me put you on this shit. Good <laughs> yeah. And then the second time was with Fernando when we eat the pizzas outside of Riverside. Oh, dude, that day we were high as <laughs> Bro, hell. <laughs> we got so fucking. I don't know if you were driving or Fernando. I, I was driving the Altima, yeah. and um, we so we went to Riverside because we got hungry. Oh, we ordered two boxes. Yeah, Fernando, fresh. they're fresh. Fernando too. walked back inside. He was like, "I think I'm gonna order more." Me and this fat ass finished both of those boxes before he came back out. <laughs> Bro, and they were hot, dude. They were fresh. We were, we were like, <laughs> and we were still eating them. We were that high, bro. <laughs> and Fernando came back. All right, he went to go get a drink, I think. I think we'll get a drink. And, and he gone. came back and he was like, where's the pizza? And we were like, we finished it. <laughs> so he had to go back in and order another one for himself. And I was bro. like, bro, that shit was the funniest thing. It was, thing. but the crazy part, it was so hot and we knew it was hot. But we still kept eating it. You know when your fresh piece is hot, it like we were trying to balance Hell. it in our tongue. We didn't yeah. go fuck. I definitely remember that time. That, that time, bro, we killed a, a box each, bro. We were we were like mocosos, bro. We were like 16, 17, yeah. bro. <clears throat> I don't yeah. know how we ate that, but we did. We that did. That was crazy. 
<laughs> Damn. Yeah, that was that was the remember the first and one of the memories that I remember. Damn. Okay. And so now, since we talked about that, where would you guys hide your drugs? Like, like you know, you know. So that was your first time. Then you guys started <clears throat> liking it and stuff like that. So where where would you guys hide your drugs from your parents? Disclaimer: I actually never bought any. You never bought. We would always smoke with you. Like you would always have it. <laughs> oh yeah. Or my brother. Okay, for me and Gustin, yeah. where would you hide your weed? Uh, there was different places to hide that shit. I mean, I since I had a shit ton of toys, and there was toys that I usually just never played with, um, like you, the you know the uh, type of Gundams that you have to build that are almost like a better version of Legos, like the Bionicles. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That used to be popping. I would take some apart because some of them would actually have like pieces that are like they have space in between them. And if the baggie was small enough, I would just stuff it in there and then just throw them somewhere in the stack. I'd always forget where I would have them. and But, I mean, I'd eventually find them because of the smell. Oh, yeah? That or, what's it called? I would pl- I would hide it outside. Outside? <laughs> Damn. But then you're going to get some hard-ass weed. Yep. Man. I, I hit it, but I got caught a lot. Um... <laughs> I think the first time I ever hit it, um, I put it like I would when I would do my socks. Yeah, I would put a nug in there, <laughs> nug in here, and um, and to, to like to like get the the smell to go away, I would spray my socks with axe. Like, <laughs> I spray them first, like I think I, that made it los colgaba, güey. <laughs> <laughs> los todos, los metía, and then I put the weed in the sock. <clears throat> but I should have put it in a baggie. Yeah, I would just put the weed like that. Oh. So then, like, the s- smell started picking up. I'm like, what the hell is that? I smell it from your drawer. She looked through my stuff. She never found it, though. But she knew there was weed in there somewhere. <laughs> I, and she would look through the so- She looked through, like, a few. But, like, I was smart, right? Yeah. Like, I, 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 like, hid them in different places. I didn't put them all in the back. Because I knew. I was like, what the hell would a mom do, right? I, I, I sat there and thought about it. And then she she looked through the back. That's the first thing she's like, oh, let me check back here. The back of the slide. Nah, the I, I I put the battle ones in the front, like with the weed in the front. I I, I said college her ass, bro. And then she checked the back ones, bro. It smells. It smells. She never found them. But then I was like, fuck. I need to get better at this. So so, so then, what I would do is I would get them Ziploc bags. And now you know you know them things when you're drying your clothes, the little you like like little como. It's like it's it's como un papel que le echas a, a la secadora when it's drying your oh, clothes. Oh, yeah, the dryer sheets. The yeah. dryer sheets. I would get dryer sheets and put them in the bags, and then I would close it, and it would smell good. And so like that, that worked for a while until <laughs> she found it underneath my bed, and then, and then I started. So I start because I always carry deal, right? Yeah. I always put it on, but so I would take off the tube and put the weed in there, and then put the tube back on. It was a lot of work, but that one I never got caught. Yeah. Or then also we also have like muebles in the house, yeah. like 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 uh like uh frames colgados. Yeah. And I, and I would hide the weed behind them. <laughs> I would find any place I could yeah. to hide the weed. Because, a fiend. Uh, bro, because no. my mom was always on me. She was like, "Where's the weed today?" Like <laughs> like she already knew the weed was somewhere. Honestly, I mean, at my at my. At my place, I just never really cared. Like, I would sometimes even just leave it on top of my desk, like my little drawer, my nightstand. Really? And my mom would, would find it. It, it was because it got to the point where it was just like a hide and seek. Like, I would hide that shit, and she knew I had it. She would go into my room, find it, and dispose of it. By disposing of it, she would flush that bitch. Man, that's the word. I'm like, and, Mom, just smoke it, please. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. what's it called? It got to the point where I was just like, Whatever, who cares? Like, she knows I have some, so I'm just going to leave it wherever. And, like, at, at this point, she just doesn't really care anymore. And, I mean, I have uh, a little container that I have from Planet 13 when I, f- the first time I went to Vegas. Yeah. And, I mean, that shit doesn't even smell inside there. Yeah. But, like, back in the day, it was hard because yeah. there were, like, stuff that they have now. Now it's so easy. Now, you know, now it's, like, they even have book bags that are smell proof and stuff. Yeah. But back in the day, man, it was so hard. It was so hard mm. to even, like, I feel like now... Hispanic families are more open to the weed topic. Nobody gives a shit anymore. As long they're, as they're, they're more open. I don't know if they fully cocaine. accept it yet. But yeah, but they're they're way more. Yeah, back as long in the day, you're not doing anything hardcore. They don't give a shit. But back in the day, you smoke weed. You a criminal. You know what I'm saying? You are <laughs> a criminal. criminal. You're you're a fucking gangster. You're an outcast. You're a, you're a drug dealer. You're a drug lord. <laughs> He's eres, eres lo peor de lo peor. <laughs> you're, 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 fucking, you're, scum, you're fucking you're worse than scum. Like, you're worse than scum. Eres un pinche narco. Estás vendiendo drogas. 
Hell no. Damn, nah, but like, t- okay, since you don't have a story, tell the audience that story about the, the hookah pins. All right, bro. It was the summer of. I'm just <laughs> summer of 1940. Right, I don't know if y'all remember them, but there were these little thin ass when hookah when hookah first started becoming a thing. There was like these little thin ass little sticks. It was like a pencil. Yeah. And you just like fucking it was like flavored and shit. One time I saw my my brother used to buy them. And I was like, what is this? And I like took a hit and I was like, oh, okay, okay. So I was like, big brain move. I was like, I'ma steal them from him, sell them at school. And then give him some of the money so he doesn't say anything. And so I would start stealing them, stealing them. And then um, I would sell them. They would cost like what? How much did they cost? Like five bucks? Like five, ten bucks. Yeah, five, ten bucks. And then I'd be like, I'd be like, give me 50. And like, them motherfuckers in middle school and what, it was middle school. Yeah, middle school. They'd buy them, bro. And I, I would, I'd come back with like $300 cash, bro. And I was like, bro. <laughs> I, to, I told them, I was like. How about I start giving you money and you like like help me out? I was like, fuck it. Bro, we made a lot of money. And then one time this little fucking white boy. <laughs> he he was like uh the cool kid, I guess. He played sports and shit. But I didn't fuck with him like that. And he was like, yo, he's like, let me buy one. He's like, I know you sell them. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Like, I don't know you. And then he's like, let me buy one. Come on, bro. Cause he used to bully kids, and I was like, I don't like that's not cool. And he'd be like, let me buy one. I was like, nah, bro. You lame ass boy. And then uh, he ended up snitching on me. And that time, bro, I was carrying like 20 pens, bro. <laughs> I had 20 pens in my fucking backpack. And I, did, like, I, I knew he snitched on me. But like, they, they didn't believe him at first. Until yeah. they... Uh, Checked you? He stole someone's pen. And he showed the teacher. And she was like, oh, okay. This is what you're talking about. Well, he's a whole so they started checking... Op. They started checking everybody, and they started finding the people who were selling it to, and then they ended up snitching on me, too, because they didn't want to get in trouble, and then the drug lord got caught, bro. Damn. Yeah. Damn, yo, so and, that's crazy. And they, and they found smash. me, at that time, they found me with, like, 20 pens in my bag, and I had, like, $200 cash right there, like, when they caught me. <laughs> and then... Boy, my mom was mad as <laughs> she was. She was like, "What the pandas vendiendo drogas?" And then she yelled at him too. But I was oh, like, "I got the worst of it yeah, too." Because the they knew I, I, he was the one giving it to me. What your dad say? I, I lied though. I was like, I would just take them from him. Like he didn't give me. Yeah. He didn't give it. They were like, "No, nah, not not no somos pendejos." Like we know. <laughs> and I was like, we made money though. And they were like, "No me vale ver." I was like, nah. I was like yeah. Who was more mad, your mom or your dad? I my mom. Think my mom. Yeah. Yeah. What your dad say? So like he didn't get, well I, he was mad, but like he he was just like you should have been more careful. Yeah, in a in a in sense, a sense in a sense, he did get mad. Yeah, but he was like like. Si lo van a hacer que lo hagan bien. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> basically, basically, like damn. Yeah, I can just imagine your mom. She's oh, she fucking beat my ass. Well, I don't I know was, what it is, but Hispanic <laughs> mothers they get pissed over every little. Thing. <laughs> I was that wasn't <laughs> little though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, was, I was I was grounded for months, bro. He was <laughs> grounded. I was like, dude, that shit was bad. When did this happen? Seventh grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Damn. And then that's crazy. I was just remembered as a kid that got caught, bro. Oh yeah. But people would still come up to me. They're like, "Yo, you selling?" I was like, "Nah, bro, I don't want." I uh, I got too many ops now. <laughs> They're out to get me. Yeah, bro. Crazy. Damn, bro. That's crazy, bro. Someone can fuck something up. Dang, three hundred dollars a day. That's good. It was more than that, dude. But that's just like the first. How much time were each pin? You said they were like uh, five, like five, ten dollars. Like how much were they selling for? Fifteen dollars. Like Thirty to fifty dollars. Damn. Yeah. I I we I come home with stacks of cash, bro. Oh, Gus was happy. Like, <laughs> Rain the money. <laughs> he was like, "Shit!" He's like, "One of these bills can buy all of these, and I just save the rest." Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Damn. Yeah, bro. We were making bank, and then you know, the, <laughs> not the, the op- right, not that, the right way, yeah. but <laughs> making money. I mean, technically, <laughs> it was legal, but it was just illegal because we were young. It was illegal because you were selling to minors. Yeah, but, uh, it can't <laughs> you're be. a minor. Too. I'm a minor though, so you know, it's not bad. Damn. And th- my well, my 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 mm. mom got more mad at him because they're like, he's selling it to little kids too, like his age. Like, what if you get in trouble for selling it to minors? Like, you know. And I would just tell you, I like I told everybody like I'd steal it from him. He never gave it to, like. Yeah. I was just like it's on me. Like I stole it from him. Like. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy as fuck. <laughs> it it could have gotten a lot worse. It could have gotten, it could've gotten a lot worse. I only got like three days of ISS. That's it. Only? <laughs> what about OSS? No OSS? Like, now we need bad. you at school, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't even that. Bro, the teacher fucked with me so much, bro. Yeah. I'd like, people would come to the window. They'd be like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> 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 that shit was funny. That's funny, bro. And they were like, they're like, free that boy, Brian. <laughs> bro. Oh, God, bro. Speaking of ISS, did you guys ever get ISS in high school? Hell yeah. yeah. High school, I think I only got it once. I think so too. I got it once. That shit's boring, bro. All you do is face a wall. Basically. Yeah, this shit. Middle school is worse, bro. Is it? They put Why? you in a, like a little ass cubby and you're like this, bro. And you're like facing the wall. The whole time? Yeah. That's punishment. That's prison, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the three days were like. Oh, and yeah. Then you couldn't even turn around. Like if you turned around, you had to ask a question or something. Oh, man, Brian, I'm going to start counting my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start counting okay. my money. <laughs> Like one, two, three. One, two, three. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, bro. It's a wild. That's a wild, wild story, man. I had totally forgot about that story until you mentioned it again <laughs> earlier. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we, was, we was built like that, bro. Yeah. I mean, we are entrepreneurs, you know what I'm saying? No cup. You said you had a story earlier. Who's, who said you had a story? You had a story about... Did you mention you, you were over there? You were saying something about, like, almost getting caught? Or was oh, that, that was you? me. That, that was, was me you. again. That was mm-hmm. me again. It was in seventh grade this time. Okay. This was before. Uh, it was me and three, four other people. And uh, you know how, like, middle schools have trailers, right? Yeah, they, yeah. they used to. I don't even know if they have them anymore. So my school had them in, like, the back area. Uh-huh. And then behind that was, like, a woods and then, like, a neighborhood next to it with, like, a little trail you can cut through and shit. So we were back there smoking. I think it was a cigarette or weed. I don't know. It must have been, It probably was a cigarette. But then um, we were probably we were like so cool. We were like, oh my god, like we're smoking like during school. It was like during the last period. Yeah. And then um, we hear teachers come out through the doors because we were close, and they're like, "What the fuck is that smoke? Like who? Like someone smoking?" And we're like, "Oh fuck!" And like we put it down, and like they saw us because like one of us was uh like kind of lookout, kind of not, but they saw the edge of him, and they were like, "Hey, are you smoking?" And we took the fuck off, bro. And I was like, fuck, if I keep running, they're probably going to see me. I dove under the one of the trailers, bro. And, like, I, like, <laughs> crawled. I crawled to the <laughs> middle. But it was, like, um, it was, like, a double trailer. So it was, like, big as fuck. Yeah. It wasn't the single one. And, like, uh, I, everybody else, like, two of my friends ran off into the woods. And then the other two ran it towards the school area. And I was like, fuck this, bro. I ain't getting caught, bro. I was like, I'm, like I, bro, my heart was pounding, pounding. I literally like dolphin dived into the like, bottom and I crawled and I was like, I was like, like ready as fuck. And then like, I hear the <laughs> teachers just run past me, bro. I was like, oh fuck. And then I waited like 10, 15 minutes. I got up and ran into the woods. And I was like, I saw the other guys that I, that had ran. And I was like, bro, we almost got caught. And I didn't have a phone or anything. So I was like, what time is it? And they had like watches. They were like, we got like 20 minutes till the bell rings. I was like, fuck, dude. I, was like, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> and then um, we waited till the bell rang. And the good thing is there was classes going on in the yeah. uh, trailers. So it's like we started walking up slowly. The bell rang. Everybody ran out. And we just ran into the crowd. <laughs> and we didn't get caught. I don't know about the other two. I don't think they ended up getting caught either. But, you know, your boy escaped that. That's crazy. <laughs> I got on the bus. I got on the bus, bro, and they were like still looking for like because oh, yeah? they had seen what we were wearing, and like they were going through the bus. You know how like the buses used to line up? Yeah, yeah, in a circle. They were like they were walking around through the buses, looking through the windows. They got oh, on, they, they got on some of the buses. And they were like, we're looking for like uh, he had a red shirt, uh, blue shirt, and like all this shit. Yeah. And like I was just like in the back, and I was like, <laughs> I put on my hoodie at the time, oh, yeah. and I was like, <laughs> and I was just hiding, bro. Thankfully, we didn't get caught in the bus either, but I was, my, my heart was fucking, doom, 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 doom. I was like, never again skipping. <laughs> and then high school came and then. Damn, we should, we should, we should do an episode about skipping. We have a lot of those. We have a lot. Skipping school. Bro. But that, like, that, that'd be a whole separate one. Cause that, that's like, too many, too, way too, many, too many memories. I think right? like 60% of the time I was not in school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty valid right there. I think at like oh, senior shit. year, my mom started figuring out and she's like, as long as you fucking graduate, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know? Yeah, definitely. 
But there you guys have it. Uh, our, our little story. Our, our first time doing drugs for a recap. Uh, or we would hide it. Uh, and crazy drug stories. But I feel like us skipping school is a crazier topic. Yeah, we we got to sit down and actually... Cause he skipped a lot too. Yeah, so we got to sit down and we got to we, we got to see think about the funniest memory. That we got to write down which ones. What, what memories? Remember when we wanted to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about all that stuff. Yeah, y'all gotta Let wait for that. Episode. Y'all gotta wait for that. So episode. yeah, guys. So there you have it. Uh, hardcore drug confessions. <laughs> <laughs> next episode will be us skipping school. We're gonna have that be the next topic. A little guys. throwback. A little throwback. Crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on What's hold on. up? We got we got a gym. Uh, y'all got any gym codes or anything? I got nothing to that. Oh, I had one, but let me see. I got a daily Tate of the day. Who? Daily Tate of the day. Oh, also, gee. guys, 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 guys. This in a few days is my birthday, and we're gonna try to hit new maxes. Oh no, new PRs new on PRs. bench, right? I low key, I low key want to try to hit squat and bench. Hey, bro, my squat's on on point, bro. I'm waiting on y'all. Damn. Whenever. Whenever. That's I don't crazy. know how heavy I'm going to go yet on squat, but... Uh, what was it, Monday? Oh, yeah. When did we bench? Bench? I think we benched on Tuesday. On Tuesday, bro, I had 245 for five. On bench? That's yeah. good. That's the most I've ever done, too. I was like... <clears throat> That's I was good. Like, I looked at my brother. I was like, yo, am I cracked the fuck out or something? It's because you're bulking. I'm kind of heavy, too. We're like you always eat before you work out. Like oh, eat we, carb oh, up. Yeah. Oh, I did. I ate four eat, waffles eat, sh- and a donut. Up, carb up. <laughs> the day after, I ate the same thing and I threw up, but it's okay. <laughs> but I guess it was like too oh, much shit. food. I got uh, a daily tape from but, the yeah. from the real world. Two forty five, bro. We coming for three fifteen, baby. Damn, this is mostly for like all the all the fellas and the ladies too, I suppose, that are still in school and shit. After school, most guys simply don't know what to do. You waste most of your precious years of youth, of your youth, when you have unlimited energy to hustle and grind. So basically, I mean, because basically after school, every, what does everybody do? They don't do their homework. They go to they sleep. They get home. They go to sleep, sleep. Watch TV. Video yeah. games or watch TV, or go out with their friends. Hey, facts. Find something to do, man. Grind it out, yo. Find the hobby, bro. Go to the Hell gym. Hell yeah. Get big. Get swole. Get swole. For you real. could be stronger than us at our age. Yeah. No, definitely. Seriously. Bro, if I had never stopped working out, bro, I would have been hitting some high numbers. We'd right be now. hitting like five, six hundred, bro. That, at, least. at least. If not even more. At least. Bro, bro, if Irving keeps working out, this man's about to be stronger than us. At yeah, our but age. That, every time I see him work out, bro, I think he's always hitting arms. <laughs> <laughs> every time I see him hitting arms, I'm like, damn, brother. Either way, ignore that. And yeah. the rest of that. <laughs> Much love for going to the gym. Yeah. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. Uh, thank you for supporting us once again. And, um, Good videos coming soon. We're going to also be posting more on TikTok. Oh, definitely. If you don't follow us on TikTok, or Instagram, link down skit. below. Yeah, we did some funny oh, gym. Yeah. We got, we got if do you more. haven't seen that, the gym skit that we did on TikTok, go watch it. It's funny. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All jokes, by the way. Nothing serious. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We love you. Hope you enjoy. Peace.